so today we have some really exciting news. A thousand subscribers! Oh my god! We just hit 2,000 subscribers! I, yes, we're so happy and so thankful. <gasps> wow! I have 100,000! And now I have 300,000. Hey guys, this is probably one of the most exciting videos I'm going to make this year. I just hit 500,000 subscribers. How Thank you. You guys, we are here. Where are we? I'm about to hit 500. Ah, I'm so excited. Mark, you want to say hi? hi. Good night. We went and saw Marvel Universe. Um, and it was a lot of fun with all with everyone. And now we're at an ice cream place waiting for Annie to hit 500k. That's like more subscribers than there is like than on people on the earth. I don't know how that works, but peace out. I hope this goes in the vlog somehow. And more to go. Getting 500,000 was so weird because it kept going up and then it would go down to like five subscribers. So we were all really confused and we figured out it was because fans wanted to be the fifth 500,000 subscriber. So they were unsubscribing and wanted to be the last so subscribers. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! First of all, before I say anything, I want to thank each and every one of you who has subscribed to my channel, especially the ones that have been with me throughout my whole YouTube journey because I have been on YouTube for three years. I've only had this channel for one year, but I'm gonna talk about all of that. So in this video, I wanna thank you guys, and I'm gonna do something very exciting that I wanted to do for a really, really long time. But I'm also gonna be explaining to you guys what my YouTube journey has been, and I just wanna explain to you like how I got started and how I am where I am today. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And again, thank you guys so much. This is actually unreal. Like, I never knew what would come out of this. I am like, my journey has been long, fun, and complicated. Me and my very best friend Hope started a channel together in early 2015 named Jazzy Girl Stuff when I was nine years old. So I was pretty young. We started by doing challenges and DIYs, and those videos were all like super fun to do. I started to grow a real love and passion for YouTube in late 2015 after we'd been doing YouTube for about a year, and I really wanted to have my own vlog channel because most of the YouTubers around that time had their main channel and a vlog channel and I was like I want a vlog channel and so did Hope. Hope wanted to have her own vlog channel as well. So on September 2nd 2015 I posted my first vlog on my vlog channel and that grew really well. I could not stop filming my life. I loved it so much. So I wanted a third channel. I knew it was going to be a lot but I really wanted to create my own high quality videos by myself. So on August 11th 2016 I created this channel and I love it. Eventually me and Hope got really into creating our own content on our own channels and filming five videos a week because I had two vlogs one Jazzy Girl Stuff video and then one channel for Annie Rose, which is this channel, got really hard. So we ended up stopping Jazzy Girl Stuff. By this time, I had two channels. I had this channel, which was my main channel, and then I had my vlogs. Hope had her own vlog channel, and she was also on a channel that her brother made called Superhero Kids. So we both had two of our own channels. Fast forward to summer last year, I got the advice to move all of my vlogs onto this channel because the more videos you post on one channel, the more your subscribers grow. And it didn't really make sense to be having having one video a week on this channel and two videos a week on my vlog channel when they could all be on the same channel. I've said channel a lot. So I ended up leaving my vlog channel and now I do vlogs on this channel as well as my normal videos. And that advice was really well, but it also left my vlog channel kind of stranded, like no one posted on it anymore. So fast, fast forward to this year. My sister Lily really wanted to get into YouTube and I had a channel that was just sitting there with nothing on it and it did have some subscribers so I decided to give it to my older sister Lily. Which you should go subscribe to because a lot of people have been unsubscribing. But currently me and Hope have our own channels that we love so much and I seriously could not be happier. I still have so much love for Jazzy Girl stuff because without it or my best friend Hope I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be sitting in my studio with a camera and a mic and everything. I know it's been complicated. I know, I know. <laughs> I just still can't believe it. Like 500 
thousand people like know who I am. For a summary, I started on Jazzy Girl Stuff, then I got my vlog channel, and then I decided to move my vlogs to this channel. But now that you guys have gotten some backstory and some of the dates in your head and a perspective, like I was nine years old when I had my channel. I have always wanted to set up a fan wall. Everyone in their house has some sort of like fan wall where they get to put up a bunch of fans pictures and stuff like that but I've never had one and it's so sad because I get so much fan mail and I don't know where to put it and I don't know what to do with it because I usually just keep it all in boxes and store it somewhere but it's overflowing and I want to pick out some of my favorite fan mail and make a fan wall art to remind me how awesome you guys are and also a huge shout out to all of the fan pages on Instagram there are so many and I love you guys I DM y'all and comment on your photos as much as I can all of you guys are Appreciated. And not to mention, all of the fan pages are like best friends and it's so sweet. Like sometimes I'll go on a fan page's story and they're like, have screenshots of them talking to other fan pages and I just love it. I love this fan that we've been creating. You guys are so supportive of each other and it's just exactly what I would ask for. Like if I could ask for any fandom, I would ask for you guys, someone who supports each other, don't bring each other down, who are all best friends and we're just a big happy family of happiness. Without further ado, let's go make this fan wall art. This is all the fan art I have. Oh my god. I'm gonna look through it and pick out my favorite ones. Okay, so we gathered together everything that I want to use for the wall, and we're gonna start. This is the wall we're doing it on. Here's the before. Oh. I think we're done. We finished and it looks so good. I love it and it's really bright and colorful. It'll be perfect for pictures. We did it, you guys. I have my own fan art and I'm so happy. I wanted a fan art wall for so long and we finally did it. And again, thank you guys so much for getting me to 500,000 subscribers. That's so exciting. And I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye.